Hi, this is Brittany Drozd, and welcome to another opportunity to be your best self. It is the second week of our holiday survival series. In case you missed it, last week's video gave you three quick tips to keep in mind as we come up on this week's holiday, Thanksgiving. Check out the video on my website for tips on family, food, and stress. This week's video is all about giving thanks and being grateful. Like I said last week, we are quick to forget the real meaning of our holidays with all the stress and things to do, but it's so important that we make time to reconnect with it. So what are you grateful for this year? I know this activity is real predictable. You're thinking, oh, I can just give her the easy ones, the answers everyone says, like family, health, my job, eh, wrong. If you're just reciting these off, then you're not really connecting with yourself and trying to find what you're actually grateful for. You have to turn the focus inward to really feel what you're grateful for, not what you think you should be grateful for. So how do you feel this? First, you have to turn everything off. Your phone, computer, the lights. You don't want any interruptions. Next, you need to close your eyes. This is the way you eliminate even more distractions. Third, use three second breaths to slow your body and your mind down. Three second breaths happen when we count three seconds in, pause at the top, then three seconds out. Continue breathing like this until you feel more calm and peaceful. As your mind starts to slow down, it'll wander to areas you haven't visited in a while and consider bigger things in your life beyond your day to day. So sit back, relax, breathe, and let it wander. After a few moments, take notice of what's coming up for you. Maybe it's a conversation you recently had or something you have to do later today. What and who do these things involve? Are you grateful for them? What does this person trigger in you? Is it something you likely need to work on? Good, so be grateful for this unexpected teacher in your life and the lessons life wants you to learn. Remember, we can only identify these teachers and lessons in our own lives if we're paying attention. So follow the three steps I already gave you above. Close your eyes, breathe, and listen. Then, select the unexpected teacher in your life. This is probably a person that gets under your skin really easily, someone you tell others that you don't like. Next, think of the reason why they annoy you and what you don't like about them. Now, hold the mirror up. Figure out what it is um, happening for you and why it's significant in your life. Are you projecting what you need to work on onto others? You have to be honest with yourself here. So once you've figured this out, take pen to paper and write down who the teacher is, what the lesson is, and why it's important to you. This is what you have to be grateful for. Watch how this perspective can change the next interaction you have with this person. And once you try it out, over on our blog, tell us how it went. Leave your comments, feedback, and stories there. Keep working because you deserve to be your best self and live a life you love. Thanks for watching and see you next time.